Vegeta, the Prince of the Saiyans, has actually surpassed Goku quite a few times in power, although a lot of people forget that. So today, I'm actually going to be talking about a few of the times that Vegeta has surpassed Goku. Hello there, my name is Alexis, and um, let's get into this video, shall we? So, I can't think of a better way to introduce this video than talking about Goku and Vegeta's original meeting in the Saiyan Saga. So some of you guys might not have thought about it, however, Vegeta was actually significantly stronger than Goku in this saga. A lot of you guys will be wondering why, if you forgot, and basically, it is because Goku had to use the Kaioken to contend with Vegeta's strength. If you remember, Vegeta's power was roughly around 13,000, I believe, in the Saiyan Saga, and Goku's power was a few thousand less than that. However, he used the Kaioken technique that he learned from King Kai to multiply his power to contend with Vegeta. That's how Goku was able to defeat Vegeta in their Kamehameha and Gallic Gun Beam struggle, because I believe Goku used the Kaioken times three, and it made him quite a bit stronger than Vegeta, for a brief moment, and he won the beam struggle. Even though Goku won in that moment because of the Kaioken, Vegeta obviously came back and transformed into his great ape form by making an artificial moon. He then proceeded to absolutely crush Goku, figuratively and physically, breaking a lot of his bones and winning the fight. It's only because Yajirobe, Gohan and Krillin intervened and then Vegeta had to retreat obviously because Gohan redirected the spirit bomb and hit Vegeta with it and it wounded him significantly. So in their first appearance, Vegeta is clearly stronger than Goku. However, Vegeta being stronger than Goku doesn't end here. Obviously, Goku becomes a Super Saiyan in the Namek saga of Dragon Ball Z. However, Vegeta does surpass Goku once the Namek saga is over, when he attains the Super Saiyan form himself. Goku, at first, does well against Android 19, however the heart virus starts to attack him, and he loses, and Vegeta steps in, showing off that he can also become a Super Saiyan. In this moment, it is debatable who is actually stronger, Goku or Vegeta, because we never got to see them square off. However, Vegeta effortlessly dispatched of Android 19, actively mocking him. Even though Goku was struggling with the heart virus, it does show that Vegeta was very powerful at that point, and it's possible he could have been stronger than Goku by just a little bit at that time. After this, Vegeta continued to show how powerful he was and he obviously fought android 18 and got his arm broken however he did survive the encounter so he would have got a little zenkai boost and it would have powered him up a bit more in addition goku was still trying to recover from the heart virus so vegeta was actually getting stronger than goku at this time however obviously vegeta and trunks also went into the time chamber first after Goku recovered from the heart virus, and they came out significantly stronger than Goku and Gohan. However, once Goku and Gohan actually left the chamber themselves, they ended up being a little stronger than both Trunks and Vegeta. However, you can't really take away from Vegeta that he was stronger than Goku, for about a day at least. However, as we know, Vegeta's pride led to Sal achieving his perfection, and Vegeta was basically just put in his place, and Vegeta kind of learned his lesson, a little bit, but not really. So going on to the Buu Saga, Vegeta trained in the seven year time gap between the Cell Saga and the Buu Saga, and Vegeta got a lot more powerful, even surpassing Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's strength against Cell. We know this because in the Buu Saga, Vegeta states that when Goku goes Super Saiyan 2, that he is a bit stronger than Gohan was during the Cell games. And Vegeta is also confident that he might be able to defeat Goku. So this implies that Vegeta was stronger than Gohan in the Cell games, by quite a big margin as well. This is also before Vegeta gets his margin power increase from Barbody, and along with Vegeta's ruthless new personality, it also gave him a power boost. So it's very possible that his margin form was actually stronger than Goku's current Super Saiyan 2 form when they had their fight. Obviously, Goku was hiding Super Saiyan 3. However, at the end of their fight, Goku wouldn't, wasn't able to transform, even if he wanted to. And I think Vegeta probably would have actually just barely won this fight, unless Goku used instant transmission in a creative way, or caught Vegeta off guard somehow. However, as we know, Goku was naive and thought Vegeta would just let the fight go and Vegeta hits Goku in the back of the head when he has his guard down and 
Vegeta wins that fight, so you could say Vegeta is stronger than Goku in that moment regardless, because he won the fight. However, as we know, Dragon Ball Super takes place, and Goku achieves the Super Saiyan God power. However, Vegeta, with some training from Whis, actually taps into the Super Saiyan God power without any help, and he achieves it on his own. I personally think this is a huge step for Vegeta, and it does prove that Vegeta has incredible natural talent, and you could argue his natural talent is actually greater than Goku's because as a Saiyan Elite he had a very high birth power level and he also learns things very fast. Although Goku also learns very fast, Goku has had many masters in the past whereas Vegeta's first master was Whis and even being new to having a master, Vegeta learns things incredibly quickly. Before Goku finds out that Vegeta's training with Whis, I would say Vegeta is definitely stronger than Goku because training with an angel really helps someone with their power and their reflexes. Once Goku joins in, I think he kind of quickly caught up with Vegeta, however their power levels were very equal. Goku eventually would be able to mix Kaioken with Super Saiyan Blue's controlled energy and would surpass Vegeta, and Goku and Vegeta would be in a similar situation from where they were when they first met. However, Vegeta does eventually attain Super Saiyan Blue evolution, but before that he actually trains in the hyperbolic time chamber in the Goku Black arc, and he comes back significantly stronger and absolutely beats down Goku Black. I also think at this time he was much stronger than Goku because if I remember correctly Vegeta was the only one who went back in the time machine with Trunks. So basically Vegeta was very strong at that point and kind of a bit stronger than Goku. But with Super Saiyan Blue Evolution and the Torment of Power I think without any luck involved I think Vegeta is actually stronger than Goku because when you think about it Goku achieved Mastered Ultra Instinct and it was stated multiple times that the circumstances created a miracle for Goku to be able to attain that form temporarily. Without those perfect circumstances, Goku can't tap into Ultra Instinct or even Mastered Ultra Instinct in the anime. So I think Vegeta has the edge in raw power because of this. I think Vegeta in the anime is currently stronger than Goku without any luck involved. Also because they're, they're so equally matched normally. I think with the boost from evolution, I think Vegeta is actually stronger than Goku. If we're taking the manga into account, Goku has done some training with Miras and can tap into Ultra Instinct Omen at will. However, it's clear that Goku hasn't even perfected that form yet. Although Moro did kind of destroy all the Z Fighters in the newest issue of the manga, Vegeta now also has instantaneous movement, which Goku also has. So Goku doesn't have that advantage over Vegeta in the manga. Also, Vegeta has the new energy displacement technique, where if a person has an unnatural power, which isn't their own, or if Vegeta battled a fusion, if Vegeta lands a few blows on them, he can send the energy that isn't theirs back to its original source. And if Vegeta battles a fusion using this technique, the fusion will defuse into the two fusees that made the fusion. So essentially, in the manga, I actually also think Vegeta is stronger than Goku, as long as Goku doesn't get lucky. So if we're talking about more than one fight, where luck isn't involved. I think Vegeta is actually quite a bit stronger than Goku because although Ultra Instinct Omen is very powerful and formidable, I just feel like Vegeta's powers are more reliable and um, because their power is roughly equal or around the same ballpark, I just think Vegeta has the edge personally. But what do you guys think? Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and I definitely want to do more Dragon Ball discussions so let me know if you like this kind of content because I enjoy recording them and just talking about Dragon Ball. Sorry I haven't been around very much lately. Um, I've had some things in my personal life I've been dealing with, but I'll do my best to get my next video out as soon as possible. Also, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notifications for whenever I upload a new video. Also, make sure to comment down below what you think about this discussion. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a lovely day and I'll see you all soon. Love you guys. Bye.